Anyways, welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're working on the M3 again. Uh, the front end was sent away, waiting on a couple parts. This is actually the same day. Oh, sorry for the lighting. Uh, pretty much the same day, Yusuf came over and he, he just told me, he's like, it's, it's time to put on the rims. I'm like, I could wait another couple more days, but he's like, nah, it's time. I was like, all right, you know what? You guys have been waiting anyways. Let's go ahead and throw it on. So uh, yeah, the front needs the rims, the rears need the rims. I'm actually swapping out the rear tires from the Michelin's to the Kubo's, some China tires on that. I'm gonna swap them out down the road. Uh, as of now, I'm gonna put it on as it is, see how it is. And then also, big huge shout out to Burger Tuning for sending out wheel spacers. They sent me 15 millimeters and a 20 millimeters. So shout out to them. Uh, that's gonna really help out with the wheel gap. And if there's a wheel gap, um, their quality is actually like insane. I really can't, I've had wheel spaces before and this just feels like top notch quality. So shout out to Burger Tuning for sending these out. I really do appreciate it. And at, right now, I think it's like a limited time. If you go ahead and purchase two sets, they go ahead and send you this tool for it as well. So that's pretty handy. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and slap on the rim. All right guys, before we actually get into the video, this is Future Noir jumping into the video. So first off, I wanna give a shout out to those of you guys who purchased a decal or push button start. Huge shout out to you guys. So Jeremy Hall, thank you so much. Alexander Lumos, shout out to you. Mario Nunez, shout out to you. Um, Christopher Michel, thank you so much. And I think the last one, and I think I may have mentioned him last week, but anyways, why not? Tyson Werman, shout out to Werman. He said, I think he's actually the one that said, I, I, you said my last name right. So I'm hoping I didn't butcher it this time. I completely you know, lost all my credibility then. That's for the people who purchased the decal and everything. So I, for the people who actually supported the GoFundMe, these people are gonna be on a plaque on the wall. I'm probably gonna try to bring this plaque to Beamer Fest. I'm gonna put it next to the car when the car is finished. Hopefully I can get this car to Beamer Fest. It's my whole goal. So I'm gonna bring this plaque with the car to show everyone who supported the build. I'm gonna put it like right on the windshield right there. Basically showing how all these people have donated directly to the build. They're gonna be the ones that are actually gonna help either, you know, bag the car or actually uh, paint the car. So either one of those, that will be because of these people right here. So shout out to them, huge shout out. And some of you guys went crazy um, with the donations. So Jeremy Hall, again, actually donated on, through here on top for purchasing everything. So Jeremy Hall, huge shout out to you. Thank you so much. Paulo Gallo, shout out to you. Tavian Lee, thank you so much for the huge donation. And then Johnny Peck, love the name, shout out to you as well. Are you like Josh Peck's brother? Plot twist. That'd be crazy. Anyways, let's cut back to the actual video. Bye bye, future Noir. Yeah, yeah, let's go. All right guys, so this is what we end up going with. We went up with some, still can't see them. They're VMR's seven, V721s. They're honestly some of my favorite rims. And when I reached out to VMR, because these rims didn't actually come with the center caps, so I bought these used, and they come already pre-powder coated. But these are not directly from VMR, so they did, they did want me to put out there that if anything happened to these rims, it could be repainted because there's some damage to them. It's not their problem, and I completely understand that because I bought it from a third party, not from VMR themselves. But these are VMR rims. I reached out to them, I said, I need some center caps. I looked on eBay, and the center caps go for like 100 something dollars for four. So I reached out to them, they told me we could send you out some center caps for free. So Huge shout out to them because these ones only came with the BMW ones, not the VMR. So let's go ahead and unbox them. They look super dope. Got a slight concave to them, and they're uh, has a nice color. I want the whole world in the palm of my hand. I got a plan. I'm the man now. I'm teaching the game a better and better than anybody else who tests me. I'm ready. So I thought it was not going to need spacers. But look at that tuck. That is so bad. So I need, thank God, shout out to Burger Tuning for sending out those spacers. We're about to throw those on and see how much wider these things can get because it's not looking so good right now. <laughs> okay. First off, the tread's not too shabby. I'd say this guy has like 40% life in it. It's not good. Started from the bottom, yeah. I Dude, the, the glossiness, man. Yeah, I'm so sick and tired of the non boss. Just to feel alive, I fight to live, I fight to strive. One day I'll have what I want in life. Yeah, it's got a lot of tuck. Let's go ahead and throw 15 millimeters in the front, real quick, in the rears, real quick, and then we're gonna go ahead and throw 20 millimeters in the front. I think it's gonna need 15. Ah. Let's try 20 in the rears. Let's try 20 real quick. We touch, we break. Make it seem like we feel 
the same we love what we had we lie, but we know all right guys so currently I'm not the too happiest on the the wheel gap like the tire gap so the rears do need to be lowered so I'm probably just gonna end up getting some suspension um, for the front it still needs to get lowered as well so I don't know, BC coils or I don't know. You guys let me know what kind of uh, suspension I should go with. But yeah, it does need to get lowered 100%. The rims do look good though. So let's just go ahead, keep mounting them. I'm test fitting the 15 millimeter and the 20 millimeter. I'm trying to see what works best. And I'll go pick up another set because I think the 15 millimeter is not what I'm looking for. I think I need 20 millimeters in the front, 25 in the rear. All right guys, so we got the wheels on it. The gaps are horrendous. <laughs> we do need to lower it, but other than that, the rims are looking really good. So I'm super stoked on that. Let's just go ahead and turn the car around. This is the first time I can you drive without a messed up rim. So the, the ride quality, should I should be able to at least feel it. And then I'm gonna try to get this side. Yeah, I'm at least gonna try to turn the car around. Actually, to be honest, it looks pretty good on the other side. Come on, Yusuf, come on this side real quick. Like if you look at it right here, you see the gap, like it's not on the fender, right? But look at this side. This is OEM. So obviously it's not perfect, even OEM, but yeah, we still need to go a little bit wider in the rear, a little bit wider in the front. Um, we'll see. Let's just go turn the car around real quick. Anything happens, guys, is my fault. You should kick the damn wheel for the content. Watch out, I lied. Hide it, hide it. I'm scared, bro. I don't know. Hide it, bro. Hide it, bro. Imagine I just dented my quarter. I'm like, I'm dead. You suck. Okay, this is actually pretty hard. Alright, folks. All right, guys, but I am tying up the last rim. Who's drop? Kind of a question is that? <laughs> so after he finishes up the rim, boys, we're gonna take it on an illegal test drive. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and take off our test drive. Hopefully everything goes well, and if everything goes well, we're gonna take it back. We're gonna wash her up one more time with the wheels, the bumper, everything, and then hopefully it's gonna be ready for wrap once the wrap comes. And then we're gonna need some more spacers. We're gonna need to lower this bad boy. But uh, what happened? You came out with the. Mashallah. All right, boys, the car is on. Check out them LEDs. We are ready for our first test drive ever. I've taken it down the driveway and I brought it back up before, but I've never actually driven it. Um, so I'm just gonna take it around the block, obviously, nothing too crazy, and uh, hopefully everything goes pretty good. Must have got we have the, the manual. Oh shit! Okay, I remember I have to uh, I have to tie up the wires. No. Now. I love this feature, man. You can you can put it on the right side, put it on the left side. You know how sad that is? <laughs> <laughs> you buy an M3 and you don't even get rear cup holders. That's how it's going to be. It's comfortable. All right, boys. Open Let's go. Lights. Huh? You're on, right? Oh, shit, my wallet. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Let's go. What's the spark going to do? Uh, no idea, but this is stiffens oh, up the suspension, so we'll do that. Ooh, that's that's nice. traction control. Yeah, yeah, see. Did you guys tighten that? Correctly. All right, guys. Brian is pumping up the tire. Apparently, it was on zero, right? Can I see that? Five now. Now it's five. I think it was on five. Okay. Yeah. It was super low. Uh, we should probably pump up the rest, right? Let's pump up the rest of the tires first before we go on a drive. It's gonna be wider. <laughs> imagine, imagine the fitment just turns insane. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and pump up all the tires real quick, and then we'll take out a drive. But guys, look at those tail lights, boy. Damn. Go for it, you say. Oh, 
<laughs> no way. One more time, Habibi. Oh. One more. Yes, man. Huh? Too much gas. Hey, wallah. Hey, wallah, you keep it. <laughs> we can't right afford it. $4.20. Damn. Yeah, we can't afford them gas, you know what I'm saying? Bought this car, can't afford shit. <laughs> Come on, Lord, it's still that shit. Wallah? Yeah. It's a flat? That's why it was no, I heard it. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove that back rim. We're gonna put the OEM rim just for now, just so we can go drive it, because um, we wanna drive it. But unfortunately, yeah, we're gonna have to wait on that tire because the tire is kind of messed up. It has a little bit of curb rash on the rim, too. We can easily patch that up, but since it has a little bit of curb rash, I'm gonna reach out to that seller. It was, again, it was through eBay, not VMR. So VMR, shout out to the rims. I love the design, uh, but whoever had these rims before me, they were not VMR, it was an independent person, so he is responsible for the damages. Uh, I just wanna put that out there. Shout out to VMRs again for sending out the center caps because I love how they look. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and remove that rim because it's pretty bad. <laughs> yes, look at that wheel gap. Oh my lord. Look at this one, guys. That is just girth nation, boys. That looks awesome. Oh my lord. Look at even from the back portfolio. Damn, boy. All right, yeah, we're definitely taking these tires. I'm gonna take these Michelin Pot Super Sports and throw them on the new rims. And then my new uh, tires, I'm gonna go ahead and get them refunded. And uh, we'll be good to go. Get some money back for these bad boys. All right, in the meantime, boys, let's go ahead and grab this tire and uh, hook it up to the car and see exactly where it's leaking from. And hopefully we can get a better video uh, for the person on eBay. So he doesn't say it like, oh, you guys are just lying. Yeah, yeah. From the sidewall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the sidewall too, you can't repair this. The best thing to do? No. <laughs> so we're gonna go out for a drive real quick, but I just wanna show you guys something. If I don't put my foot, my foot's not on the gas, right? It's in reverse, I let go of the clutch just a little bit. The car will move back on its own. So I'm just wondering, you know, what is this? Like, I don't, I don't know if that's how BMWs are, if that's how manuals are, I guess I'm just uneducated. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's something I'm just unfamiliar with. It won't even stall out. Like, it's not even shaking or anything. Uh, we're paying attention to sounds, guys. We're not gonna go that fast, boys. By fast, he means 60. No, the alignment's so off, I can't go fast. It's way off, right? It's so off. That's what tires are. I know that the tires are off. Let's go of the steering wheel. Or how, how, where does it go? Which direction? Straight. It, the steering wheel is straight, but. <laughs> nah, nah, I don't. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> it's really off, so I really don't want to. You try to don't shift. I don't want to do it right now. Let me shoot them. Oil? What? It's leaking coolant. Okay, I think we have leaking coolant, boys. Coolant? That's cool, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and pull over. I don't want my temperatures going up high. The temperatures are really good so far. Temperatures are good, but it says we're leaking coolant. Or maybe we're low on coolant. So let's hope we remember the car is, it hasn't been driven. Yeah, in a yeah, yeah. While. it's never been. I think you need so to top off the know, coolant. It doesn't know the measurements. Or Not only that, I think because when the coolant went in. Are we leaking? Are we leaking? No leak? Yeah. Damn it! Coolant is everywhere. So coolant obviously got on stuff that's oh my god, coolant's literally everywhere. Yeah, so this is the this is just steam guys. This is a smoke from the engine. Ah oh, damn it. But that's the first that's crazy. Where was it leaking from? Right here? I just got an idea. <laughs> so we found out that this hose wasn't plugged in properly, and that's why we heard the squealing. Basically, the, the water and the coolant got on the, the, what's it called, the belt, and that made the squealing sound. So all this stuff, we're gonna see some steam coming out, but hopefully all this is just steam out. The reason I'm recording right now is so if, if the steam pops up and burns my face, I want a million likes. <laughs> no, but we're good. 
I still like a million likes though. Okay, yeah, we're out of coin. All right, boys, let's put some coin in there. So we can literally coin on everything. This hose is, is not in there. It's on the belt. It's not, it's all over the belt, yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna let this dry overnight. Uh, yeah, this, I don't know if you guys can see that. If I pull on it. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, oh, hey. <laughs> Too much cooler. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna leave that as it is. Kind of sucks, but we figured out the problem. So at least we're not leaking from anywhere or like a hose is cracked or something. A hose isn't plugged in. It's whatever. Now I gotta spend like 20, 30 bucks on coolant. That's not a bad deal considering that it's a very minor issue. Uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, so far so good. Well, so, yeah, good things, it drives really smooth. Transmission is flawless. I'm just super ecstatic about all that stuff. So yeah, so I don't wanna touch any of this stuff. This cool is probably boiling hot right now. So let's not get into it. I'm just gonna jack up the car. I'm gonna push the car in the garage, jack it up, put a pan underneath there just to catch all the, the coolant and see if there's any oil getting mixed up, just stuff like that. And then uh, tomorrow morning, we'll get back to you guys uh, plug back that hose and then uh, top it off with some more coolant. And Future Noir is back <laughs> at the end of the video, guys. So we ended up figuring out the issues with the car. Um, it turned out with just a stupid hose. You put back the hose, you put back the coolant, everything's flowing just right. Hopefully in the next coming up videos, I know my friend's picking up another BMW, so we're gonna be hopefully getting another video on that. I know, he just got a BMW and he picks up another BMW. It's just like my life, guys. You buy a BMW, you're like, oh my God, I just gotta buy another one now. So that's 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 a life of uh, BMW owners. So he's gonna do that, and then hopefully you're gonna be starting actually working on the front bumper trying to fix all the cracks trying to you know put the whole front bumper together throw it on the car and then wrap the whole car super excited for that i just want to get the car ready for beam fresh i want to get all the alignments and everything perfect but before we actually end this video i just want to give a huge shout out to burger tuning those spa the spaces they sent me if it wasn't for their spaces my car would honestly look like absolute garbage right now i didn't realize the offset was that bad on these wheels um, so I even reached out to VMR and they said these are the only offset we offer for these wheels um, And you know, it's not gonna fix your car So they already gave me the heads up saying it's not gonna fit my car, but I've seen these wheels on these cars So I decided he's like, you know what? I'm still gonna go for them because one of my favorite rims I don't I've never seen them on E92 M3s and I can go ahead and put better tires Wheel spacers lower it and it should look really good. So yeah, that's that and then shout out to VMR for sending out the center caps for their wheels because when I bought these off eBay they didn't come with center caps they came with the BMW original ones and I just don't when you put like BMW center caps on wheels it makes it look like you bought China wheels So me personally uh, because I did that with the E330 that's why I'm saying that but me personally I want the actual brand on it Thank you guys so much if you guys want to support the channel and be on that plaque on Beamer Fest Smash that like button and check out that link down below and without further ado remember stay humble guys. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out